Stranger Things is finally coming back to Netflix. And after this seriously long wait, fans are hyped. But things are changing soon. Millie Bobby Brown could be getting her own Stranger Things spin-off. We'll check out everything we know about, including what the new show could be about. Then we'll see some other Stranger Things, like the big announcement that they have just made about season 5. Warning, mild spoilers ahead. Why do we think the rumors might be true? Rumors of a spin-off have been around now for a while, especially rumors about a new show that mainly stars Millie Bobby Brown and focuses on her character, Eleven. But up to now, there have been no big announcements that have confirmed any plans to make something like that happen. Did you notice that I said up to now? Yes, that has changed recently when the head of Netflix teased that the Stranger Things universe might be expanding very soon. The co-CEO to Netflix, Ted Sarandos, said that he really liked franchises, but what a broadcaster really wants are hits. And we all know that Stranger Things has been a massive hit for Netflix. In some ways, it was one of the shows that really cemented the streaming platform as one that made some incredible original content. But Sarandos was not done there. He also went on to call Stranger Things a franchise being born. Really interesting. And he teased spin-offs, meaning that there could be no more than one new show that could be born from Stranger Things. He did not say that Millie Bobby Brown would definitely be heading one of these new shows, but it just makes sense. Eleven is by far the most popular of the characters, and some would say the most interesting. Getting her on board could open a lot of possibilities on where they could go with a new show. Let's check out what these spin-offs could be about. The Ensemble This is a massive show with loads of characters, and there are many different directions that they can take a spin-off show. If there are going to be more than one shows, then chances are that that one or more of the other characters will be at the head of the other shows. But by the time that the show ends, these kids could be adults, and we could be following them on that journey. Or they could go to another town altogether that's facing the same monsters and challenges. There are loads of directions that they could take a spin-off and still draw the same viewers that watch Stranger Things. They could focus on one character or more of the massive ensemble. Prequels or sequels When it comes to a new series that stars Millie Bobby Brown as Eleven, there are just as many different directions that they could take that show. One option would be if they would decide on making a prequel or a sequel series. Stranger Things is coming to an end soon, but more on that later. And it's very possible that all of the children will go in their own directions afterwards. Doing a sequel series focused on Eleven or one of the others could be very interesting. It would mean that we don't really need to say goodbye to our favorite characters because their story would continue on. But another big option they have is to make a prequel based on Eleven's life. She was a test subject in Hawkins Laboratory under Dr. Martin Brenner. We've seen some flashbacks and moments about that time, but there's still a lot of story to tell about that. Going back and telling Eleven's origin story could be really cool, but in that case, I'm not in entirely sure they would use Millie Bobby Brown to keep playing Eleven, since Eleven would then be much younger than she is at the moment. I'm not convinced it would work anymore. Finding other siblings Another possibility for a spin-off, and the one that I would really love to see, could focus on Eleven as she goes out looking for any siblings that she grew up with. In season 2 of Stranger Things, Eleven finds out that she has a sister that broke out of the lab not long after Eleven left. At that time, Eleven went to look for her and found her in Chicago. She even lived with this sister Callie for a while to make sure that she would be okay. And there were a bunch of children in the lab that they did experiments on. Not everyone escaped, but when the lab was supposedly changed, those children must have gone somewhere. It could be really fun to see Eleven go on a mission to look for these lost siblings and help them with any powers they could have and to have a happy life. She could travel the world looking for them and facing challenges along the way. If some of them were just sent to other labs, she could even start to save them from those places. It's an option with loads of possibilities. Abilities. It would mean that we could possibly meet a bunch more characters who have their own abilities. And even if some of them don't, there's really no limit to the possible number of siblings that Eleven could be looking for and what their stories will bring. Do you have any other ideas what the spin-offs could be about? Share your ideas and thoughts with us in the comment section. We love to hear from you. Next up, we'll check out the ending to Stranger Things and why they are finishing the series. Stick around and get all the mind-blowing details. Will season 4 be the end of Stranger Things? No. We have now gotten confirmation that season 4 won't be the end of the show, but the series is ending very soon. The creators of the show have announced that they've decided to end Stranger Things after season 5, meaning that the series will have only two more seasons and then it'll be over. It's really sad, but at least fans have the hope that they'll get spin-offs from the show and that it won't completely be the end. The pandemic resulted in severe delays for the series, but it also gave the creative team the time to completely plan out where they wanted to go with the show. They wanted to make sure that they have a clear 
vision to ensure that they can end it in a way that fans deserve and not keep going in a way where eventually the show is running on fumes and all fans think they should have ended it seasons ago. They want it to go out on a high. And it sounds like the new season is going to be the best season ever. Even before the pandemic, the plan was to make it bigger and better than ever. And that's why it took such a long time to complete. Season 5 might be the end, but it sounds like the last two seasons are going to be one heck of a ride. One major issue they are facing. Fans are seriously eager to see the new season of Stranger Things, but they're going to face one big issue when they come back. Season 3 dropped on Netflix in July 2019. Now it's almost three years later and we're finally getting season 4. Season 3 left us with loads of cliffhangers that need to be resolved in season 4. And that means that they have to return back close to where it left off. The only thing is that all of the real life children that play these characters are also three years older and all pretty much adults now. Noah Schnapp, who plays Will Byers, is 17, and Finn Wolfhard and Gatton Matazero, who play Mike Wheeler and Dustin Henderson, respectively are both 19. Millie Bobby Brown has turned 18, and then finally Caleb McLaughlin, who portrays Lucas and Claire, is already 20. That is a big age difference from the last time they played these characters, and the change is going to be pretty obvious. It's not something they could have helped since the pandemic was beyond anyone's control, but they might need to try and compensate for that. One option could be a small time jump where they leave our favorite characters at the places we left them and then return to them a while later. We'll have to see what they do about it and if they do anything at all. Release date for season four. Do we know when season four of Stranger Things will finally drop? Yes. After literally waiting for years to get a new season, we finally know when the new season of Stranger Things will be released on Netflix. The bad news is, is that they're going to drop it in two volumes, meaning that we won't get to binge watch the entire season in one go. But the good news is that it sounds like both parts will be long enough, so it will almost be like we are getting two seasons close to each other, and both will be packed full of action. Season 4 Volume 1 is set to release on May 27, 2022, and Volume 2 will release on the 1st of July, 2022. Are you sad Stranger Things is ending after Season 5? Are you excited to finally see Season 4? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.